I'm a storyteller and uh, New Orleans is a city bursting at the seams with stories. It's also a uh, city of extremes. And like the city, the closer you look at one of my pieces, you know, you'll make little discoveries that'll tell you a, a lot more about the place than what's on the surface. When I was a little kid, I used to draw on the walls as my way of expressing myself and documenting the social and cultural conditions of my, uh, in my space and my time on earth. And uh, here I am, you know, years later, still, uh, you know, uh, expressing myself. Um, I like using recycled material like uh, glass bottles, wood, newspaper, and magazines. Th there's something about the idea that something that is looked at as trash by one person can actually be looked at as a piece of art by another. And I guess it's a matter of uh, perspective, which I think uh, kind of sums up the African-American experience in this country and in New Orleans in particular. My inspiration could be a song, a person, a sound, a house, a picture, a pattern on a shirt I saw someone wearing. Some of the artists who uh, have inspired me are Romare B Bearden, uh, Roy Ferdinand, uh, Basquiat, Willie Birch, Doug Red, uh, Jamar Pierre, Paul Dio, Terrence Osborne, uh, Brandon Odoms, Garden Parks, Lionel Milton, uh, Miles Davis, uh, John Scott, and Enrique Alferez, uh, amongst many others. Uh, Marcus Acalena, I mean, it's, you know, tons of uh, New Orleans artists who are doing uh, great work and have been for a long time that have inspired me. What I would like my art to contribute to the world of people who own it, I guess um, I would like to provoke thought about the cause and effect of the human condition, uh, you know, through my art. <laughs>